It's been a while since we have reviewed a promising looking average price movie projector which might be suitable for gaming too. And well, this week after searching the internet, we think we might just have found a very affordable option. So basically this is the brand new Rambro L4500 LED Mini Portable Projector. It retails around the £90 mark, that's around 125 in US dollars. It is specified as having a 1280 by 720 resolution, noted by also saying that it has a 1920 by 1820 supported resolution too. Well, let's go ahead and I guess open it up. Ah, okay, I missed that. So the projector does come in its own nice little carry case. There's that Rambro brand to the front. Let's go ahead and zip it open. Alright, so we've got a UK power cable. There's that usual 3-in-1 video cable, a slimline remote control that you would usually see on most Android TV boxes. Well, we do have a few here that look exactly the same. We do also get a pretty lengthy HDMI cable and securely fastened into, may I say, a very well in aligned padded case is the Rambo projector itself. Along with quite a precise user manual and a customer support card placed within that side mesh pocket. I do honestly like this case. It's real nice! Looking closely at the L4500, right away it does resemble and have the same look as an Xbox One console. Sort of, yeah. It has quite a minimalistic yet bright and modern look about it. There's lots of ventilation to both sides, to the rear and underneath. It is slightly weighty though, around 900 grams. But like previous projectors that I've reviewed before, that did feel rather hollow and quite cheap. Well, this L4500 certainly doesn't have that same aspect. It feels very, very well built and solid. Oh yeah, and there's one other initial thing too. Now, because a lot of people are now installing their movie projectors on those narrow floating shelves within their living rooms, I do like the fact that most, if not all of the ports, do sit to both sides of the projector, not limiting that rear space. In addition, even though this projector can be placed on different or various angles, for example you can place it vertical or horizontal, you will have to place it on a roof mount or simply place it on a tripod because of those cables sitting to both sides. Unfortunately, the projector can't be placed upon its side, down upon a flat surface. To the right hand side of the movie projector, we have one headphone port. There's an AV port too, right next to it, and two USB slots, one with an input and one with a 5 volt out. There is a rather original SD card slot, so you can basically play back your movies, video files or picture files. And yes, there is that HDMI slot too. To the rear we have that VGA connection for use with a PC, there's an IR receiver for use with the remote control, and to the left hand side of the projector there is that power input and the manual lens focus and keystone correction tilt function. Looking at the lens, this LED lamp will provide you with up to 50,000 hours worth of entertainment. That's a long time. Oh, so uh, let me just add this up, which if you're using this projector for around about 12 hours a day, every day for 10 years, it should be quite enough really. Yeah. As well as the remote, we do have physical controls too to the top of the unit. Now we have the power on, the backup button, the OK select button and the directional feature control buttons. Let's go ahead and power it on. And let's just adjust it using that built in screw mount at the bottom. Okay, it doesn't really need that much of adjustment really, as it does sit very well on its own on those four sturdy feet. And you know what? I think I'm just going to simply place it on a tripod anyway. Yeah, let's go and do that. After connecting this Rambro projector up, as you can see, there is a pretty standard menu. You have media, video, picture file access from either your SD card or a USB drive. The remote control, by the way, it does work good, especially when the projector is placed in front of us. But because the IR receiver is to the rear, unfortunately when the projector is placed behind, it doesn't pick up that well. Now because this is indeed daytime, the curtains are wide open right now, and it's not the best picture, especially in daylight. Obviously, it's better when you close those curtains, just like so. You can watch video content, it is quite average though, but for gaming, you will either need full blackout curtains, or simply use this projector at night. Now because the PS5 is already hooked up, let's access a game. Okay. 
So a corner here. Not fantastic defending. That was not one for the highlight reel, Stuart. Guys, I've got to say, right from the off, this projector is a little bit noisy for my liking. Don't get me wrong, it is culpable, but unless you're alone and intend to use a headset, then the only way to basically drown out that fan noise is simply to hook up some additional speakers. Alright, so we have placed this projector just over 7 feet from the wall, and even though we can make that screen much, much bigger, it is our preferred distance, just to basically balance out the picture quality, which right now, by the way, the screen size is just around 70 inches. Within the main menu, you do have certain settings, so you have image scaling, aspect ratio, you have a picture mode, which by the way we always choose dynamic mode. There's an update feature and an auto power off timer too. Now in regards to gaming using that PS5, let's focus it a bit using the manual focus and adjust it using that keystone tilt. Okay, that's about good enough. Okay, that is set. Gameplay using this portable projector is actually surprisingly good. The picture is nice and crisp, obviously it's not going to be as bold as a decent TV, but if you have unusual sized rooms within your house, and you basically can't fit a massive TV, then for any gamer or arcade wanting to immerse themselves during gameplay, then this will definitely do the trick. Colours are really not that bad to be honest, I mean there is the odd one that is slightly faded now and again within certain videos, but as much as I'd like the blacks to be a bit more deep, well for the price I really can't grumble. One thing I will say though is that that speaker... It is a singular speaker, it sits to the right hand side of the projector and it is pretty basic. The treble is really really high, the volume is high too, but with that volume unfortunately there's no bass whatsoever and it does sometimes sound a bit tinny, especially when watching some action movies. Again, for the price, I do think that this is most definitely worth a look. Yes, it's not got Bluetooth connection and yes, it doesn't have any access to mobile phone mirroring. But for a projector that stays relatively very cool after long use, that does provide a superb picture quality. For a budget range projector, well personally I really do like it. And I must tell the truth, that 720p projection, well it definitely looks a lot higher than 720p. It hardly, if all, has any type of screen shadowing around the corners. And well, we're going to give this Vanvo 4500 projector a 8 out of 10. Now again, I can certainly recommend this, and if you want to check this out, I will definitely leave a link in the video description down below. I'm not affiliated in any type of way, but if you have liked what you've seen today, well why not go get yours? While you're in that video description guys, it'd mean so much if you please smash a like on this video. Most importantly, please subscribe to this channel and show some support, I'd very much appreciate it. Making sure to hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on my new uploads. Now, it's been great doing this review this week, really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys stay tuned for more. But as usual, please stay safe, and thank you ever so much for watching. Peace!